Grade 4 math number 23. Multiply three and four digit numbers with regrouping. All right, let me show you this. We've got 1,354 times 6. And I did it in colors so that you could see how I did it. All right? So when we have a big number up here and we're going to multiply it by a one digit number, we go in the ones place and multiply, then we go to the tens place, then we go to the hundreds place, and then we go to the thousands place. And we fan it out like this and slowly multiply each one taking turns. And if it is regrouped with another number, we add that one. So we multiply and then add. So let me show you. 6 times 4 is 24. So we carry the 2 over here and put the 4 down there for the 24. 6 times 5 is 30, plus the 2 we carried over is 32. We carry the 3 over and put the 2 down. 6 times 3 is 18, plus the 3 is 19, 20, 21. We carry over the 2 and put the 1 down. 6 times 1 is 6, 7, 8. Let me put the 8 down. So see how each one got its turn starting with the 1s, and we slowly fanned over to each one, and if there was a number carried over, we added it. Okay? So don't multiply the carryover. You add the carryover. All right? So let's see what we've got here. 3 times 7 is 21. So we're going to carry over the 2 and put the 1 down. 3 times 6 is 18. 19, 20. We put the 2 up here and the 0 down here. 3 times 5 is 15, 16, 17. There, see how we did that? That wasn't that hard, was it? All right, let's try this one. Because we're doing 3-digit and 4-digit numbers, okay? So that was a 3-digit times a 1-digit, and here's another 3-digit, all right? 2 times 9 is 18. We carry over the 1 and put the 8 down. Now we do 2 times 9 again, which is 18, except now we have to add this 1 we carried over. 2 times 9 is 18, 19. Put the 1 up here and put the 9 down there. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13, and now we move it over there. So see how even though this was 3 digits here, it created a 4-digit answer, so we just put the 1, you know, there. Now because of this dollar sign, we have to make sure we put that in the answer, all right? You could get it marked wrong if there's a dollar sign and you don't put it in your answer. Okay, so 699 times 2 is 1,398. Okay, it's $1,398. All right, so now we have a four-digit number. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to start with the ones and slowly fan out and add our carryovers that are on the top. Okay, here we go. 5 times 2 is 10. We carry over the 1 and put the 0 down for the 10. 5 times 1 is 5, plus the 1 is 6. So there's no carryover on that one. 5 times 4 is 20. We put the 2 up here and the 0 down here. And 5 times 4 is 20 again, except we have to add the 2, so now we have 22. And our answer is 22,060. Okay, one last one. We've got... 3,287 times 6. We start with the 1s and slowly fan over. 6 times 7 is 42. We carry over the 4 and put the 2 down. 6 times 8 is 48, plus the 4 is 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Carry over the 5 and put the 2 down. 6 times 2 is 12, plus the 5, 12, Plus 5 is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, we carry over the 1 and put the 7 down. 6 times 3 is 18, plus the 1 is 19. So our answer is 19,722. So remember, we start with the 1s, and we slowly fan out and go across. Okay? That's not that hard, is it? That is how you multiply three and four digit numbers and regroup. See you next video.